Mr. Speaker, since January 2008, the increase in manufacturing output in Manitoba has been 3%. Compare this with Saskatchewan's 49% increase. One has to scratch their head at what today's NDP must be doing wrong for Manitoba to struggle while Saskatchewan's manufacturing sector has done so well. The Premier has an excuse a day for the issues of Manitoba. Can the Premier tell us what today's excuse is for why he let Manitoba's manufacturing fare so poorly as to fall behind Saskatchewan's? And I table these. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The member from River Heights question asked to compare Manitoba's performance versus Saskatchewan. The forecast shows the following, Mr. Speaker, that the Manitoba economy will outperform the Saskatchewan economy in both this year and next year, Mr. Speaker. It shows that Manitoba has had the best job creation record over the last 12 months, Mr. Speaker, the best in Canada. It shows that Manitoba has seen wage increases leading the country of over $40 a week and $2,000 a year, Mr. Speaker. It shows that Manitoba has had very significant population increase, a net increase of over 16,000 people leading the nation, Mr. Speaker, on a per capita basis. Mr. Speaker, the Manitoba economy is performing very well. Our manufacturing se sector is the largest in Western Canada and shows a very significant increase in exports in the forecast budget this year, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the uh, Premier should stop trying to be a fortune teller and stick to the facts. <laughs> Mr. Premier, Mr. Speaker, the Premier should know that what was in his budget fell far short of an adequate economic strategy to address the needs of Manitoba's manufacturing sector to be competitive with Saskatchewan. Today's NDP started in 1999 with Manitoba far ahead of Saskatchewan. Exactly. But now Saskatchewan has caught up, has passed Manitoba, and is continuing to gain. Why has the Premier been asleep at the switch when it comes to ensuring Manitoba's manufacturing sector is successfully competitive? Mr. Uh, Speaker, manufacturing in Manitoba is the largest uh, manufacturing sector in Western Canada, Mr. Speaker. It has done very well. It's it went up 9% just over the last month, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we have the largest, for example, we have the largest intercity bus manufacturing company in North America. New Flyer Industries produces and manufactures 40% of all the buses in North America, Mr. Speaker. They have leading edge technology on hybrid buses. They brought out one of the first electric buses in Canada, Mr. Speaker. We have Price Industries, which is expanding in Manitoba, Mr. Speaker, as well as the rest of North America. Motor Coach is expanding. Our aerospace sector has continued to expand and moving into the field of composites, Mr. Speaker. And we have other announcements that will be forthcoming about new jobs being created in Manitoba, Mr. Speaker. Best job creation record, best economic growth forecast, one of the top performing econ economies in the country over the last 10 years, Mr. Speaker, in the top three. Anytime you can have a record like that looking backwards and a forecast that like, like that looking forward, Mr. Yeah, Speaker, you know the Manitoba economy is doing well. Mr. Speaker, the Premier's claims of economic improvements are also not reflected in Manitoba's export numbers compared to Saskatchewan. Uh, and more exports means more jobs. I, I table this data. In February 2013, the Premier travelled to India, saying he was going to improve trade between Manitoba and India. And yet the information I table today shows that Saskatchewan has a whopping 12 times larger export of goods to India than Manitoba. Oh. Under today's NDP, Manitoba is falling drastically short of Saskatchewan in all exports, and in particular exports to India. Can the Premier explain why he is steering business in this province backwards while Manit Saskatchewan moves forward? Speaker, in the end of 2014, Manitoba's manufacturing sector ended on a high note. Sold $1.37 billion of goods in December. That was a 6.2% 6 6 increase, Mr. Speaker. The manufacturing sector in Manitoba sells all over the world, Mr. Speaker. It sells farm equipment all over the world. It sells value-added food products all over the world. And I can tell you, when I was in countries like India and China, our food security system, our value-added food products in Manitoba 
are considered among the finest in the world, and that technology is being adopted in those countries, Mr. Speaker, in a very significant way. So the reality is every province has its own markets where it sells products. Man Manitoba's manufacturing sector does well throughout the world, particularly in areas where it has a competitive advantage, such as farm equipment manufacturing, such as value-added food products, such as services in the area of hydro development, Mr. Speaker. We make a real difference around the world, and our manufacturing sector will continue to do that with one of the strongest economies in the country, with one of the best job creation records in the country, with an increase in wages all across Order, the please. country. The Honourable First Minister's time on this question has expired.